Welcome to our first video from the Cherokee National Forest in Tennessee. As you see, we are starting our day off at camp, having some coffee next to an awesome mountain stream. So join us. Let's see what adventures we have undertaken and let's see what we can find out there. Alrighty, here we are. Lost Creek Campground, Cherokee National Forest. We'll take you through a drive in. So basically this is a pretty, I don't know, basic campsite in a sense, if you want to call it. We have pit toilets over here and that's your only facilities. It's a pack in, pack out. As you can see, there's sites that'll work for vehicles. There's like a site up here that is more of a park and then uh, hop up the hill. So this is one of the first big sites. This is quite a large site over here but it is right on the river. And as we come back around, there are sites on the center section, but these, these riverside sites are pretty amazing. You get the sound of the river. We had a great night's sleep. Here's a, a nice ve one vehicle site. Every site has a tent pad if you need it. This site right here, it's almost like it has a beach walkout, which is really cool. Great site. And then here's the site that we camped in last night, which is a nice corner overlooking the water. Got great sound. And then there's one last site down here on the way to the road. So all in all, there's 13 campsites in here, um, all different kinds of flavors, but really, what a great place to be. I would check this out if I were you, if you're in the area, enjoy it as we did. I tell you what, one of the coolest things I can't get over are just these awesome little mountain waterfalls like this. So awesome and I can't, you would think that the fall is the perfect time to see things like this because in the uh, spring, summer and whatnot, it'll be so green and lush through here that it would block your view of just these awesome cool sights. These are the type of views that we're getting as we peek through the trees, mountain tops. So nice. This is a great trail. Easy gravel road coming through here. Nothing too technical, nothing too hard, two wheel drive, but the views are amazing. Thank you. 
Alrighty, we're on a little turnoff to what's called Potter's Cemetery. So it's a small dead end trail. We figured we'd go down it, check it out. This is a there and back trail. This trail will dead end. So, yeah, we'll check it out. We'll see. All righty, here we are. We're walking up to the Potter Cemetery. It's an easier, easier way. We've left the truck down at the bottom. Here's J.T. Osborne, 1914. But you can also see that all kinds of these other headstones. This is a 1917 headstone. There's another one back there. Nineteen twenty-three. So yeah, so you ha would have to figure that at some point um, in the late eighteen hundreds, early nineteen hundreds, that uh, this area had been logged and. It was probably more of an open pasture or field. Obviously no trees or, or very sparsely treed, but here's 1899, a couple 1899s. Here's an 1869. So this is Potter Cemetery, top of a hill at a dead end road. And here's some, this must be a pretty old grave. I can't really see the date on it, but as you see, if you look, there's a depression in the ground, and that would uh, indicate to me that uh, this person was buried in uh, a wood casket, and after the casket had rotted out, it collapsed. Here's Howard Shell who is actually uh, a Confederate soldier for the 29th Tennessee Infantry Regiment. But, but yeah, this is Potter Cemetery and it looks like the higher we get up the hill, the older the headstones are. 1886, 1883. You can see a lot of these stones were added on top, probably due to the fact that the graves would collapse from the wooden cast that's rotting. Here's some, actually some, some newer type grades, like this one is 1943, 1943, 1936. So, so actually this, this cemetery was pretty active. Um, actually into the mid 1900s. So the families must have had plots and put them up here, but a neat little sidetrack.
here's a little remnant of the past that I've seen on a couple of videos from the Cherokee National Forest. The pylons down there with the roof and all are the ruins of a cement factory from like the 1920s. Now, how, how and why there would be a cement factory in the middle of the mountains, I don't know, but, uh, but it's there and we can see what's left of it. Pretty cool. Alrighty, we just came down this uh, spur road um, and there's dispersed camping marked that I had found online. And uh, you know, we have room here for a vehicle to back in with a rooftop tent. There's another spot here, but it's awfully muddy. And then obviously our truck is over here, but we have the river basically down here. So if you were to camp in this spot, you would have the sounds of the river. It's actually moving pretty fast down here. And there's a train tracks and a train bridge. So we'll take a walk over there. Okay, so these are the train tracks off in this area. And uh, it's pretty cool. So here's the river coming past. 
We have basically have a sheer cliff wall going up this way. So it's coming through some rapids. That'd be pretty interesting if you were a kayaker, take it through there. And then on this side, it opens up more into a slower moving area. It looks like a little bit of a confluence. A couple areas coming together from the river perspective. We have a creek over here. But, uh, but yeah, this is a cool little bridge, but it's literally made out of railroad ties. So you have a steel frame, but basically the only thing crossways are railroad ties. So I'm not sure how used this is, um, but definitely uh, a little cool spot. We're gonna have a snack and, uh, and chill out. All right, so this is pretty cool. This is a big, massive water pipe coming out of the side of the mountain. The engineering here, I don't even know how they would have gotten uh, this pipe, even in sections up here, let alone through the mountain. But we're right by the river, and this opens up to an awesome, awesome campsite. So. This is one that if it had been late in the day, we would definitely be staying here. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't. So it's got an awesome fire ring, a little platform there. We have some stump stools and, uh, and really this is pretty cool. And then over here, we literally have the face of the cliff and there's water dripping down in a little waterfall. Which is super cool. And then it'll, and it, it'll drain out and in, into the river itself. These are some massive pylons. Big concrete, you can see something was drilled in and attached here at some point. So they, whether they use this pylon um, as some sort of, I don't know what they would, who knows, maybe it was some sort of contraption was here to help them build this water pipe or something. Or maybe there was some sort of sus suspension bridge that went across. But uh, no, this is great. All right. So now we are driving under the big green pipe and right by the river with quite a set of rapids going on here. Alrighty, we're going to end our first video from the Cherokee National Forest right about at this point. This was a great day. We started off the morning at camp after a rainy evening. We made our way through the mountains and saw a Civil War era mountaintop cemetery. And then we made our way along these mountain trails 
to see some remnants of history. And we close out with a couple really cool dispersed camping sites that will be sure to come back in a future visit. But thanks for joining. We appreciate your watching. Like this video, subscribe if you don't already subscribe, and keep an eye out for our next videos. We should have at least two more from this trip. We just saw some cool stuff that we want to share with you, but I appreciate it. Stay tuned. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks.